Yo, what's going on everyone? Um, I quite literally just woke up and uh, right now I feel like just like that one time when I took an edible in school But that's gonna be same for another video um, Today there's a brand new uh, character that's been drip marketing Now we didn't get the drip marketing yesterday, right? But I'm pretty sure that's uh, because of uh, the special Not holiday or anniversary uh, Just um because of the incident that happened on June 4th, 1989, I think. Uh, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know if I can say it without getting demonetized, but if you know, you know. But um, the 2.4 jump marketing has finally started, right? Um, this is a Yunli uh, 5 star physical destruction. Uh, looking, uh, looking, looking a little cute. Um, like like i like i kind of predicted you know we're it's a shinjo character and of course after planet colonies over we're going straight back to the shinjo who who would have guessed um maybe we're gonna go back to the shinjo in 2.4 maybe we're gonna see what happened to ting yun um but yeah i might as well just read this yap right here extra extraterrestrial satellite communication Yunli. Swords have a temper. Sometimes you have to touch them to calm them down. Put the hilt of the sword in your hand, and I'll tell you what's wrong. A sword hunter from the Shenzhou Zhuming, or she's not even from the Lofu, and the Flaming Heart. General Huai Yan's uh, darling, darling granddaughter, frank and straightforward. She practiced swordsmanship and forging from Huai Yan since young, and thus is the second youngest prodigy swordsman of the Flame Wheel. What the hell is this? Fueled by an intense loathing for the cursing uh, or the cursed swords that that emerged from the zooming, she vowed to hunt down and wipe out all cursed swords. So, like, what what cursed swords have we seen in Star Wars? I don't know. Um, but yeah, physical destruction. Um. I'm pretty sure this is the first five star physical destruction we've gotten since the, the Trailblazer, but I mean, they don't really count, right? But uh, yeah, we got uh, I mean, even though she's physical, there's quite a bit of like fire here, right? Uh, but this is a uh, yo, this is legit what I said, bro. Why is there mad fire here? She's a physical, that makes no sense, but um. Yeah, Yunlin, uh, Yunlin drip marketing. Um, again, I kind of predicted predicted this, but we're gonna be going back to the Shenzhou. It looks like, um, uh, maybe like in it, we're, maybe we'll be getting like an interlude chapter in two point four. Uh, who let it, who knows who it'll be? Uh, who who knows what we're getting? Well, I mean, <laughs> like I said, I just woke up. I literally just woke up like three minutes ago, but uh, who knows what. We'll, we'll be getting in 2.4. Um, I'll be expecting another Shenzhou themed update. I'm just hoping that 2.5 will be something different. Um, I wonder if we'll be uh, going back to Panacone anytime in the 2.x update series after 2.3, right? I kind of hope so, right? Maybe 2.8, 2.7, 2.6. We can go back one more time before 3.0 drops. <laughs> Um, but Akoni is like a staple in the Honkai Star Rail at this point. Um, tell me why I saw this and I thought that this was the man, my, the man made meteorite Kirio. <laughs> is that not what it looks like? Um, but yeah, very, very cool splash art. Uh, kind of weird that she's physical, even though she looks like she'd be fire. Um, and destruction, you know, pretty good class in most cases. Um, I don't know if I'll be pulling for her though. Uh, physical is kind of a boring element. I don't know. Like I, I don't know what it is about physical, but it's just boring in general. And the uh, destruction. I mean, I already have Jing Liu. Uh, I don't know. I might, I might pull for her. I don't know yet. But uh, she, she's a. Uh, she looks. She looks. She looks cool. But uh, that's it. That's it for this video. Bye bye.